This episode is brought to you by Dashlane. Keep your personal data safe from prying eyes with a free account from Dashlane. Space is really, really big. It's so vast that we tiny humans have a pretty hard time even wrapping our minds around it. The known universe is home to billions of galaxies, each with tens or hundreds of billions of stars, and each of those stars with planets of their own. Maybe some of them even support life, like Earth does. Beyond the known universe is the unknown universe, an expanse so vast and mysterious that we can't even begin to understand many of its properties. How far does it reach? Is there an end? What's beyond the end? What if there's no end at all? In this episode, we're going to assume that the universe is infinite, and look at a few of the implications. Before we consider what an infinite universe would mean for our existence, we need to understand how it could work in the first place. At first glance, it would seem like an infinite universe would conflict with the Big Bang Theory. That's not necessarily the case. Think of it like a loaf of raisin bread. Before the Big Bang, all the matter of the universe was condensed in one infinitely dense point. This is represented by the uncooked dough, all lumped together with a bunch of raisins. After the Big Bang, the matter begins to spread apart, or rather, the distance between the matter begins to expand. This is like the dough rising, with the bread representing space-time and the raisins, galaxies, or other matter. The matter didn't blast away from this infinitely dense point, as the term Big Bang would have you believe, because it wasn't an explosion. There's no empty space created in the event, but rather space itself expanding infinitely away from its origin. But what is it expanding into? If it has the room to expand, that means it's contained within something, right? This is really hard for humans to understand, but we can try another analogy. Imagine a deflated balloon. There's nothing inside or outside the balloon, just the two-dimensional surface of the rubber representing our three-dimensional universe. As the balloon inflates, every point on the rubber expands away from every other point. This might be easier to visualize if you imagine some dots on the surface of the balloon. As the balloon inflates, those dots will move away from each other. This is a good approximation of how our universe works, as far as we can tell. Since the Big Bang, every point in the universe has been expanding away from every other point. The rubber of the balloon is the actual fabric of space, which means there's no empty space as we think of it. The very stuff of space is expanding. So, to recap, if we assume that the universe is infinite, that means at one point it was infinitely dense and close together, then began to expand infinitely away from itself from every point. So, wherever you are in space, you'll observe everything else moving away from you, forever. Pretty weird. Now that we understand how an infinite universe would work, what would that mean for us? Well, nothing in the short term, but let's fast forward to when we have more advanced technology. Space vessels capable of interstellar travel that can support multiple generations of humans. Say we take off from Earth in the year 3019. No matter how far we travel, no matter how many generations, and no matter in which direction, we would never reach any sort of edge of the universe. No matter how many billions of light years we are from Earth, everything will still look the same. The fabric of space expanding away from us in all directions. It's kind of scary to think about, but also somewhat reassuring. Even if you completely screw up your life here on Earth, it has absolutely zero cosmic significance in an infinite universe. And odds are someone somewhere has screwed up even worse, because an infinite universe would also include infinite other intelligent civilizations. Whether there would be infinite copies of each and every individual person is up for debate, because technically, with infinite time and matter, the permutation that led to you or me would appear an infinite number of times, but it wouldn't exist in the same time and place, so would it really count as you? Of the countless intelligent civilizations out there somewhere, most of them would never encounter another intelligent species simply because of the sheer scale of the universe and the fact that everything is expanding away from everything else at a speed we likely couldn't match. So, the universe is full of life, but we'll never see most of it, or possibly any of it. It's unfathomably vast, but we'll never be able to travel even the tiniest fraction of it. It seems to have an age, but we can't tell what came before, and we don't know how long it will continue to expand, or what will happen if it stops. There's a whole lot of we don't know involved when you're talking about the far reaches of the universe. Even if it's not infinite, the observable universe, the part we can see, only makes up a tiny percent of what we know is out there. There are, at the very least, hundreds of patches of universe the size of our visible home region. Possibly thousands, millions, or billions, but we can't tell. The light hasn't reached us yet, and for most of these far-off regions, humans will be long gone before it ever does. Long story short, we'll never be able to map the entire universe with a fleet of super-advanced starships. We might be able to get a good estimate of the size of the universe, or at least whether or not it's infinite, by continuing to observe and coming up with new equations that can keep up with the mind-boggling complexities of the final frontier. You know what else is almost infinite? 
the list of websites I've signed up for in the past 10 or 15 years of being on the internet. That's why I use Dashlane. Thanks to Dashlane, I can control all of my online accounts and secure each one of them with strong, unique passwords, as well as get breach alerts that tell me when one of my accounts has been compromised. Dashlane is a super secure, locally encrypted password manager for all of your most important data. It's a safe place to store important documents and receipts, a VPN to keep your browsing secure from prying eyes, a dark web monitoring watchdog, and of course, a reliable password manager that makes it easy to save all your different passwords, autofill login fields, and automatically change passwords if they're ever compromised. Go to dashlane.com slash second thought to try out these awesome features with a free trial of Dashlane Premium. And if you really want to get serious about your online security, be one of the first 200 people to use the coupon code second thought to get 10% off your subscription.